Today's video, how to install a Drexan power connection kit along with NSEAL. The components you'll be using for this assembly are the NSEAL portion, which is an inner heat shrink tube as well as an outer uh, heat shrink cap, uh, 2 8 inch bus wire heat shrink tubes, as well as the ground braid yellow and green heat shrink tube, along with an inner uh, half inch uh, heat shrink and then uh, three wire nuts for the assembly. Tools needed will be an electric or propane heat torch, a tape measure, an electrician's knife or straight blade, an aviation snips or other snips, as well as a needle nose pliers. Push the heater feed through fitting onto the heat cable so that the threaded end is facing toward the area you'll be doing the power connection kit on. Measure six and three eighths of an inch from the end of the heat cable. Score all the way around through the outer jacket uh, from the end of the heat cable. And then uh, along the length of the heat cable from that score mark, uh, score the outer jacket of the heat cable, uh, freeing up the inner part, including uh, what you'll see there is uh, the ground braid of the heat cable. Pull that outer scored portion off. Bunch up the ground braid by pushing it back uh, from the end of the heat cable and then insert a needle nose pliers uh, near the uh, score mark so that you can create an opening through the ground braid. And once you've accomplished that, you'll be able to uh, double over and push through uh, the inner portion of the end of the heat cable uh, through the ground braid, uh, separating it from the ground braid. Straighten out, uh, pull tight, and twist the ground braid so that it will form one complete ground wire. Measure approximately three quarters of an inch from the score mark at the ground braid, and then completely score the inner jacket all the way around, and then along the inner jacket, score through uh, so that you can separate the inner core and the inner jacket. Starting at the inner jacket score mark, strip off both edges of the inner core, running a, a knife along the bus wires, being careful not to nick or cut through the bus wires, uh, completely exposing the inner bus wires. Using an aviation snips, cut through in both directions toward the bus wires uh, so that you will form a notch that will allow you to grasp the bus wires with the needle nose pliers, uh, twisting them back and uh, removing them from the inner jacket uh, so that you will be able to expose uh, both of the inner bus wires, uh, pulling them all the way back to the inner jacket score. Trim off the remainder of the inner core material, uh, cutting in with an aviation snips, taking great care not to cut through the bus wires. Slide the eighth inch bus wire heat shrink tubes over the bus wires. It may be necessary to trim a little bit off so that you leave about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of the bus wires exposed. Fully heat shrink down uh, these eighth inch tubes so that uh, they are fully shrunk and hot melt is oozing out of both ends. Slide the yellow and green heat shrink tube over the ground braid. Uh, so that you uh, push it all the way on, you'll expose about three quarters of an inch. Fully heat shrink with a heat gun, uh, and there is no hot melt in uh, this heat shrink tube, and so just once it's fully shrunk, you're complete. Slide the half inch heat shrink tube over the two bus wires, uh, pushing it up to where it meets the ground braid, and uh, you'll apply heat using a heat gun, electric or propane, uh, until hot melt oozes out now near the ground braid. It'll tighten up around the two bus wires. Uh, it may be necessary to kind of keep them separated, pull them apart a little bit until hot melt is oozing around there as well. Using a, a needle nose, pinch between the two bus wires uh, so that you completely seal that area, holding it for about 20 seconds until it sets up. 
push the heater feed through fitting, the strain relief grommet, up uh, toward the ground braid. Now you're ready to install it into a junction box. For the end seal portion then, uh, you'll mark back one inch from the far end, the end seal end, and score all the way around uh, through the outer jacket and being able to strip the outer jacket off. And trim off the one inch of ground braid all the way back to the score line. Slide the half inch inner heat shrink tube over the inner core of the heat cable. Apply heat until hot melt is oozing out around the ground braid area as well as out of the end of that inner seal. Use a needle nose pliers to uh, seal this end, holding for about 20 seconds till it's set up, and a completed inner seal should look like this. Slide the outer end seal cap over the top of the inner end seal. Apply heat and uh, fully shrink until hot melt is oozing out uh, at the base of that cap all around the heat cable. A fully completed end seal should have hot melt all the way around and be fully shrunk. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.